have a 4-H club at the high school and it's really fun and my favorite part is probably doing the field trips. We hatched baby chicks in the classroom this year and the kids really enjoyed it. A lot of them don't even get the opportunity to ever touch a real baby chick, so to see the whole process and to learn how a chick incubates was a great experience for all of them. You know, there's a lot of things that go into 4-H and make it a, to make it a big success. And I think for me personally, the best aspect of it is being able to mentor kids and, you know, being able to relate to them and, you know, reciprocate energy and, you know, go back and forth and be like, you know, what can we do better? And, you know, what do you want to be in life? How do we want to get there? These are the steps to get there and also build a good, strong relationship with them. This is the aquaponics project at um, Moore Middle School that we did. And there's all of the teachers that helped out with it. Our students with special needs um, took this opportunity to show our school the community, stakeholders, and developers within our county how you can use fish instead of soil to grow plants. The warm rays of the sun give them the strength they need to grow tall. So plants need soil, water, and the sun to grow? That's right, Pansy. To them, it's just a puppet show, but by the end, they've absorbed so much information, and you can just see how engaging it is for them, and they love it. When we go into classrooms to teach about things like electric currents or kids come to the farms for farm day, they're seeing us teenagers that they, they aspire to be and it motivates kids to get into science and agriculture as they're going to be our future.